welcome to another Healthy Equine Therapies webinar. We are so happy to be getting off on the right foot um, and introducing you to the Incrediware Equine as well as the Incrediware Human line today. Um, and what a great way to start the new year and, and our first webinar of 2022 as well. So if you have any questions at any time, feel free to head over to our comment section um, and you can jot down any information or any kind of feedback or questions that you may have at any given time um, and just kind of in, put your input and get all uh, associated with everything that we have to do with the Inquieta Rare here today. So the first person I'm going to introduce you to is Ashley um, and she is actually my main contact here in Canada um, to kind of get to know the Inquieta Rare line of products. So let me just throw her in on uh, discussion here and then we can get uh her all introduced um and uh hold on let me just i think we got you now ashley there we go so let me tell you about ashley ashley was introduced to horses at the age of 12 and has been showing them on the a circuit in the hunter discipline for the last 20 years she took the reins of hayward sportswear from her mother in 2020 and combined the business with victory tales to create Hayward Equestrian. Ashley was introduced to Incrediware when a friend told her about her badly injured horse and how only Incrediware was the thing that worked. She has been selling and promoting Incrediware equine as well as the human line of products since April of 2020. When she isn't busy working her thriving business, she's either riding or spending time with her three-month-old son. Hey, Ashley, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks, Lauren, so much for hosting this. I really appreciate it. Oh, How are my you today? Pleasure. I'm doing well. Keeping busy. Keeping busy. Never a dull moment these days. Yeah. Today was a great, beautiful day. It was so warm. Wow, ah, like... the sun, eh? And, and it, it was in the plus degrees, so can't complain about that either. Not here in yeah, Canada. It felt like Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I still rather head down to Florida and get some of their weather though. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for coming today. I'm super excited to learn more um, about Incrediware from you and kind of go through a couple of you know questions or topics, so to speak. But what everyone doesn't know and that we were actually kind of just found out within the last half an hour is that we have a very special guest with us today. We have Jackson Corley, who is the CEO and founder of Incrediware. So let me just bring him on board as well so that we can all kind of meet and greet. Hi, Jackson. How are you? Great. And it was 80 degrees here today. So, in oh, California. that's not nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just a, it, Canadians, I, I don't know how you do it. I'm, in, I'm oh, impressed. We're, we're pretty tough up here in the north, let me tell you. I love I it. I think last week, Jackson, it was minus 33 with the wind chill. Yeah, you can have that. I, I was born in South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> and so I know what it's like. My parents are from Montana, Wyoming, and uh, I would live there in the summer. <laughs> but that's it. That's it. No other time. Well, I'm happy to be here and, and um, answer uh, anything that we can about Incrediware and anything you want to know, maybe even ex exciting things that are coming down the pipe um, that would be uh, kind of cool to talk to, too. So I'm, I'm open game. Uh, anything that you want to learn while I'm here, uh, I'd love to uh, to chat with you about it. Perfect. We love that. Thank you, Jackson. I don't know if Lauren bounced off her screen. It looks like, oh, I think something happened to her screen. So no, I'm oh, here she here. is. I'm just letting you guys have the floor for a little bit. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was like, I can't see her anymore. Did she, did her internet go out? Okay. Oh, Lauren, no. sorry. Still here. Just letting everyone see your beautiful faces and get familiar with you. So that's just hiding behind. Well, Jackson, if you're going to tell us some goods, like I, I'm glad that we're having this, like yeah. that you're able to tell us some new, exciting things happening. For sure. Yeah, and it's, I'm, I'm open game. So you guys can just ask me questions or I can, Give Perfect. you some updates of what's going on. You know, feel mm -hmm. free. Amazing. Um, a lot of the to a lot of times when I do these, you know, people send in questions or ask questions, and it's the best time to learn, you know, how it works and why it works. But also, 
you know, where we're going, where we're headed, both in, you know, human and also in equine, because we're in, on the human side, we're in like 43 countries wow. and growing. And, you know, of course, on all the most famous people um, and in equine, of course, we were, we were uh, on many of the, the Olympians from Denmark, Sweden, Germany, I think everybody in Germany and uh, many in the UK and a few in the US as well. So wow. um, you need to learn how Incredible works and what it's doing. And um, we're doing lots of studies. And even on the human side, if it works on humans, we always ask, then it's okayed by horses. Uh, but it kind of works both ways. And so now we're going to be doing some studies with the German Olympic vets on uh, on on the horses and post-trauma, laminitis, all kinds of cool things. So we're excited to get going this year. Awesome. Well, why don't you get us going today by telling us how you came to develop the Incrediware line. I know you had a bit of an accident and that's kind of what started the seed when it comes to Incrediware. Absolutely. That's it. You know, and, and people see me because, you know, I look like I don't have any problems. I can bend and do all those things. I, I'm, I have nine herniated discs right now. I have no feeling down my legs, no feeling down my right arm, 50% use of my right leg. Uh, but um, I didn't have any back surgery or anything. I flew off a ravine mountain biking in 2008. I was a sub 15 minute 5k runner and extreme skier, extreme biker. And I was by myself biking here in Northern California along a cliff by myself with no cell service. And I was going a little bit too fast. Uh, not that I was cocky, <laughs> just, you know, just think, okay, it's getting dark. It's two days after Christmas, the sun's going down and I still have 10 miles to go. And I was just going way too fast and hit a lava rock and the lava rocks stopped my front tire and I flew off a ravine. And uh, fortunately I put my hands out to block me. So I didn't do any head damage, uh, but I came within about three or four feet of going another 15, 20, 25 feet straight down. And, but what happened is a big rock stopped me. And when it stopped me, it pushed me sideways. So it was a quick jerk sideways and it herniated a L4 disc. Um, it was 22 millimeters up the spinal cord to the next level. And uh, to my fault, just like many of you guys that are probably listening, is that, oh, I'm tough. I just got bucked off a horse. I'm gonna get back on. And that's what it was like. And I got back on and I, I actually biked for about 10 more miles, got home, was pretty good, got up the next morning and rode the same ride, but I couldn't stand up straight. I was kind of bent over. Later in the day, I was digging holes and I was thinking, man, I'm standing up straight. I'm going to go for a 10 mile night run with a headlamp and a, and a uh, waist lamp. And I'm up in the mountains and I'm running along and I, all of a sudden my foot started to drop. <laughs> And I was like, oh, crap, that's bad. <laughs> you know, when you see your horse is not sound, the gate's off, you know, you know, you're messed up. And so I went home and toweled off in the shower and I couldn't feel my leg. The next morning I got up and I, that was the last step I took for about three or four months. I was in a walker in a wheelchair. Uh, I went to four neurosurgeons, U.S. ski team doctors. They wanted to uh, fuse my spine. And you know how it is on horses you know, on your horse, you want to do less is better sometimes. And if you do too much, you know, what's the problem going to happen later in life? And so that was 2008, 2009, 2009 in the spring, I developed my first back brace. I had an aha moment. I had developed um, uh, about 18 other products. I'll give you my background, just a slight bit. So I was uh, a chiropractor for 22 years. I worked on Olympic guys. I worked on Denver Broncos, Houston Oilers. And so my background was sports. I had the largest chiropractic clinic in Northern California, worked with a lot of orthopedic surgeons. And I had developed a, a bunch of other different products, always for patients. And so I had to develop something for myself. And I made a back brace and I put it on uh, in the spring. And I was like, oh my God, what's up? I can, <laughs> my foot, I feel better, you know? And it feels like it was like a cooling sensation where when you put on a jacket or you put on a coat or a scarf, you know, it's like warms you up and you get too hot to take it off. When I put on the back brace, I was thinking, what is going on here? Because instead of getting hot, when I put it on, it actually felt like icy hot. 
And that was the first clue that we knew that when you wear our product, it thermal regulates you. And that was really the beginning of Incrediware. And then I worked on, my sister had diabetes, so I made some socks for her. She was having a foot or a couple of toes amputated due to diabetic uh, type one diabetes. And it helped her and the doctors couldn't believe it. And in 2010, I launched my products in Canada. That was the first place I launched it. So that's kind of cool. You guys were the first. And it was in the Toronto area. I had started in some health food stores. So that's the story how Incrediware started. But really, I think it was almost like the hand of God pushed me off my bike because I had a huge practice. Um, I didn't need to do something else. And yet here I was doing something else. And as a result, now we're, I mean, you, you watch Steph Curry, he's wearing our products or you watch the Super Bowl this weekend. Those are our products. You wow. watch Ronaldo or you watch, I mean, they're using our products yet. They're do, not being paid. And yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's a huge testament on itself, right? That these big name athletes are are very familiar with the products that you created and stemmed from. Like that's a huge compliment on your achievement. Absolutely. And you see them all the time, which is crazy. Yeah. I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of extra background. So everyone knows I grew up on a cattle ranch. I rope, I ride, I barrel raced. I did rescue race. I did pole bending. My parents still have a 300 acre ranch. My sister's a professional barrel racer. Um, we have an indoor roping arena at our place. We've had vets that actually live at our, at my parents' ranch. And what happened was my sister is a professional barrel racer and so are her kids. So they'd be traveling to Texas or they traveled, you know, wherever to go to an event. And they said, oh, we're using your human products and we can't believe how much the swelling is down. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, and I didn't really want to get into equine because we were, we we're so successful. But um, finally, they bugged me enough that I created the first in equine line, I think about four years ago. We did a lot of testing um, with uh, down in thermal with, um, with the jumping and dressage horses and hunters. And now we're, I mean, it's, it's crazy. That was with vets. And now I can't believe how many places, I don't know how many countries we are in, in equine, but the a horse doesn't lie. It's crazy. You, you put the product on and you take it off 20 minutes later. It's like, oh my God, the swelling's gone. Where did it go? Yeah. <laughs> on a magic show or something. And so that's what's kind of cool. Whereas humans have muscle. And so oftentimes you know, the swelling goes down, but it might take a day or two. On a horse, it's just like, oh, I, I love horses. And so that's, I can, I'll talk about some of the new things we're developing there and some of the things we're doing for, um, for the human side as well. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for that. It's This is the first time I've obviously got to meet you. So learning a little bit more about your history and, and learning even just a little bit more about the development of the, uh, the Incrediware line is, is huge for me because I obviously go and promote it here in, in Southern Ontario as much as possible. And I have quite a few clients myself that, you know, um, praise it and use it on a regular basis. But there's a couple of those that are kind of hesitant on uh, trying to use it. So this is going to, I think, solidify the whole grab it while you can and use it because you're going to find it exceedingly useful um, for your horses, especially coming into uh, hopefully show season within the next two months or so here in, in Ontario anyways. Well, you've got the Toronto Raptors and they're yeah. one of our biggest buyers. Of really? Product. Yeah, we do. We do 28 NBA teams, 25 NFL teams. Mm -hmm. And it, when you watch the Super Bowl this weekend, you'll see those are our leg sleeves that are actually sewn into the, the Rams uniform. Wow. So it's it's um, it's crazy. I mean, that how many people use this when you see a LeBron James using this or a Tiger Woods or w the doctor usually gave it to him. We didn't give him the product. They bought it. Yeah. And on horses, it's the same. We want you to try it because really when you try something, I, I'm going to give you the science. I can tell you how it works. I can give you the studies, but really when you try it and you go, Oh my God, my horse is not lifting. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> or I just am developing um, a headpiece and we're just waiting for the final pieces. And it's 
it's for TMJ and the pole and it's helping the horses with headaches. And I'm like, dude, how do you know the horse has a headache? You know, and this, I'm asking a, a therapist and they're like, we know. Yes. <laughs> we know what it does. I can, I can attest to that. I can tell when there's a horse has got some, you know, head trauma or yeah. is really not feeling that great in the cranial area. Yeah. We, us therapists, we know, we can tell. <laughs> it's it's coming. I've, I've, awesome. It took me two years to develop it. And um, I just perfected it. I sent it to the factory to be finished. So that's oh. one of the new products that will be coming uh, quickly. Perfect. That yeah. was like a really good teaser there, Jackson. Yes. <laughs> and we're doing a study on it. Um, it was uh, to tell you that it was on the, the Denmark and Sweden Olympic team. They, they're the ones, it, it was their therapist that asked me to make it. And while they were, you know, at the Olympics, they asked me to send it. They won, they won uh, quite a few medals. So um, they said it calmed the horses and we're used as their travel uh, when they, when they're traveling on airplanes and at nighttime um, of, of those teams. So yeah, it works. Perfect. I'm going to get my hands on one of those when they're available. Yes. Put me down, Ashley. Put me down for at least one. <laughs> <laughs> I will for sure. You'll be wanting more than one. That's for sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, perfect. So Jackson, tell us exactly how the Incrediware actually works, like how the fabric actually helps the horses with like inflammation and pain. Absolutely. And I will, add, I will show you the black ones are coming. Oh, another teaser. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have to tell you that we ordered these. They've been 25 arrived today. That's it. I said, where's the rest? But um, <laughs> as I was talking to Ashley earlier, I said, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And then all of a sudden I go in and there's like 25. But, but you can see we actually changed how it looks. Oh. And I changed the, you know, how it, um, the look of it a little bit. Uh, and the, then the... Um, the actual amount of um, germanium is a little bit extra. So let me explain how it works. It's actually, it. I, I'm hoping everybody has a computer or phone or they're not watching this because <laughs> inside your phone or inside the computer is silica. And that's why we, in California, we have Silicon Valley and silica is a semiconductor. When you take um, and look at the fastest computer chip in the world, it's called germanium. Germanium is when you look at the periodic table, you have carbon in the same family, silica and germanium, and all three are semiconductors. So when you when you heat them with your body, at this the the actual molecules start releasing two different things. You know, in the sun, just so that you understand, this the sun when the rays come in, they're in particle and they're in wave. And this is actually, you know, when you say take a look at infrared. Uh, mid-level infrared, far infrared, and you look down the entire line of ultraviolet, all those rays are coming at us from the sun. There's some that are good for, for us and some that are bad. And you know, this is a therapist that in laser, it's near infrared. Near infrared is actually, if you left it in one place, it's so intense, it'll actually burn you. Mid-level is what's in germanium or what germanium releases and it's in, in a way that is so amazing for you it never stops vibrating your your tissue and if you think about it if i have an earthquake on the bottom of the ocean and it shakes the bottom of the ocean what does it create a tsunami wave the wave never stops inside your body just imagine uh that you're getting a million little tiny theraguns you know vibrating your cells that never stop and when it does that on a microscopic level, it creates energy, but it also creates a wave, just like that earthquake. Well, if you're shaking fluid, where, where's the fluid gonna go? It's gonna go into your lymphatic system. And that's the most important part of what Incrediware does, is that when you have a horse that's standing still, it's in a stall and it's got wind puffs or it's got swelling in the lower leg, you're not moving. So what's pumping the fluid back up? What, you're going to compress it, you let go, it comes right back. Um, if you have Incrediware, it never stops vibrating the cells. It creates, it's almost like you're exercising without exercising. And when you're doing that, it creates a flow. And it's just like a river. If I have a river that's like trickling along and the river's going into a big pond and 
it's dirty. Um, how is the pond going to get cleaned out? And how is the river going to bring boats and people along the river if there's hardly any water in it? And that's what the vascular system's like. So when you put on Incredaware, it vibrates the cells. It increases blood flow and blood speed. And what's really cool is if I were um, in person with you, I can lay the product anywhere along the artery and look at your finger underneath the microscope. And under the microscope, we can see the blood flow flowing. I'll put it up here. And within two minutes, it'll quadruple your blood flow here. So you can put Incrediware along anywhere along the artery and it'll increase blood flow. But, and only if you put it on the area where it's swollen, will it actually get rid of the swelling because blood flow by itself won't get rid of the swelling. It has to be on the area that's swollen to, to do both at the same time. So essentially what you're getting is you're getting increased oxygen nutrients and you're getting macrophage and all these wonderful things that get rid of trauma at the same time as you're pushing all the swelling out of the area. I'm gonna let you guys in on something that I just, we just finished doing studies in Europe. I work with Real Madrid, Tottenham Arsenal, all these amazing uh, places. And we were wondering, well, we do studies on humans and we do prevention studies. How in the world can we in, uh, reduce injury level in the NBA by 90%? How can we reduce injury level in soccer players by 67% when they don't have an injury, it's because what Incrediware does is not just increase blood flow and blood speed and help your body heal, but it's showing to relax muscles. And it allows within three hours of wearing our product, you can relax the muscle or rejuvenate the muscle by 37 to 40%. This is important on humans. Not as important on horses because I don't have products yet that are going over the musculature. So that's why it's kind of exciting for equine. The new stuff that I've been asked for for the Olympic teams is blankets and all these different things so that we can affect the musculature at the same time as increasing blood flow and blood speed. So Incrediware is doing several things, but the number one thing for horses, it reduces the inflammation by vibrating the cells. It brings in oxygen and nutrients by bringing in more blood flow. And the last thing that it does that is bizarre, and you haven't tried it on yourself. I mean, this is like crazy bizarre, is that it cools you down. And it's like, what? You know, how can that be? And what happened was I was working with the US Olympic team for uh, two Olympics ago, and we they just got out of the swimming pool and they're going for recovery. They put on my leg sleeves and my underwear, and all of a sudden they're going, what the heck's going on? It's it's cold, it's freezing. <laughs> yet it was 90 degrees outside and they were wet and yet they're cold. And that's when we discovered, and I had to go to Stanford University, find out that Incrediware is not just releasing a mid-level infrared optical wave and far infrared at the same time. It's releasing a negative ion. And a negative ion can make your body basic. Um, it can attach to positive ions, get rid of hydrocarbons. But the biggest thing that it does is that it pulls heat off your body. And that's why you'll put on the product, you'll wet it, and you'll feel it. It's like, wow, it's hot on the outside. What the heck's going on? But on the inside, it feels cold. Mm -hmm. It's lowering your core temperature, which is the most important thing that you need to do to prevent swelling. Because the hotter you get, you cause vasodilation. And when you vasodilate, more blood gets stuck in the lower extremity. And what we're finding now on horses over 45 degrees Celsius when they're riding, if you get too hot, you do tissue damage and, and tendon damage. And the same thing is on humans, it's 40 degrees Celsius. And so with Incrediware, we can keep you in this pocket of an incredible temperature with not heating you up too much and not cooling you down too much. Because on the bottom end, if you put ice on more than five minutes on a human, it can cause tissue damage. Horses have different tissue, so they can go longer. That's why they can stand out in the winter, you know, when it's freezing cold. But the key is, is that we want to keep you in that perfect thermoregulation uh, temperature so that you perform your best. That's, that's it. That's that's awesome like that that's is that too much no <laughs> not at all <laughs> we we like the, to get a little bit technical because we need a thorough understanding 
of the products and then obviously the science and technology behind it is what makes these products so essential for humans and horses alike. So I, I wonder if you could just touch up on why you chose the negative ions of a carbon and geranium. You know what, uh, that, I love this question. Um, it, when you're, um, have you guys ever called somebody and the person answers the phone and you go, oh my God, I was just dialing you, you know, yep. or you're, it's like, what, what just happened? <laughs> you know, or um, you have a dream that someone's going to get in a car accident and all of a sudden you get a phone call. Oh, that person was in a car accident or the same thing with uh, premonitions or whatever. You know, what happened was, is that um, I was looking for a product for um, hockey players to reduce um, stinky feet. <laughs> because, you know, especially my son was a hockey player and you smelled his shoes. I was like, oh, this is horrid. So I had actually gone over to Asia looking for something to reduce the odor. And that was, I, I got introduced to carbonized charcoal or, um, and carbonized charcoal, you know, you, you put charcoal in water and it, it, it filters it. And what we didn't know then, and science did know then was carbon is also a semiconductor. When you look at the filaments of lights, you know, that are uh, in your light bulbs, that's carbon molecules. Your body's actually made of 70% carbon and it emits also infrared as well. But the key here is, is how the heck did I get germanium? Where did that come from? And I was studying Japanese medicine. Uh, they were taking germanium orally and finding that, wow, it increases blood flow. But if you take too much, it's toxic. So I was thinking, oh, that's a bad thing. Um, but if you take too much vitamin E, it's toxic. If you take too much alcohol, it's toxic. You know, what's going on here? And then at the same time in the 2000s, they had just discovered that germanium was the fastest computer chip. And I thought, oh my God, what if I take germanium and grind it and put it into a product? What would happen? And it was one of those aha moments. Like I said, you pick up the phone, you go, oh, wow, it's you. Um, it was almost like um, I got hit in the head with a, with a big mallet. You know, oh, why don't you try this? And I think when you're developing something that's going to help you and not somebody else. And when you're, I mean, I, I have to tell you, I'm, I, I was praying every day, man. I could, people had to lift me. They were lifting me to get out of the chair. Every moment of my day was focused on pain and trying to just think, how can I get out of pain? So it was an aha moment on that. And then when I put it together, the germanium carbon, when I put it on, I was like, oh my God, that's incredible. But I really didn't know what it was doing until about 2012, 11 or 12, I started doing thermography where I'd take a picture of a red, hot, swollen um, knee or body part. And then they'd put on Incrediware, take it off five minutes later and the temperature went down six degrees. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? And everyone would say the same thing. Oh, wow, it's cooling me down. So that's when I started doing more science because I had developed this for me and not for anyone else. And the negative ion thing was another thing that was kind of like, oh, wow, that's a byproduct. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> that we discovered in uh, 2013 or 14. Wow. So it, it's almost for I'm doing right now. I just finished doing studies on uh, uh, total knee. Uh, ACE, we're just starting ACL arthroscopic knee surgery with the most famous doctors, diabetic neuropathy in, in Canada. I'm doing at McMaster University, chemo induced neuropathy. We're doing post concussive brain injuries at Western University in Canada. Uh, in, uh, we're just finished doing arthritis study in, in uh, Italy and another one in Denmark. And we just finished doing studies in Finland on athletes exercising and recovery. And it's, I mean, I have so many studies going on. And now I said, let's start doing horses. Yeah. So actually, here's some of the studies. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I, you yeah. know what? I, I don't want to cuss or anything, but um, this, this one study that says 46 and zero and days, I have to tell you about this, okay. is that uh, USC did this study, super famous university, and we did it on MLS players. And I got the results back and they were wearing the product. It was a four-year study 
the last year they used Incrediware along with all their other therapy and they cut their recovery time down from injuries from 24 days to 12.5 wow. days. And I was like, BS, no way, <laughs> someone's lying. Let's check this out. And sure enough, we redid the study and that's what it says, 67% up here. Um, we redid the study at FC Cologne in Germany with soccer players. We got the same results, but they also were wearing it for prevention. And that's one thing I want to talk to you about on horses. You're not wearing, you know, the number one reason why you perform better is because you're not injured. That's it. And how do you get not injured? Recovery. Bingo. That's one thing. But what we're doing before the horse exercises and while at night, while it's sleeping, is even more important. So what you do while that horse is at rest or a human's at rest is why we have 220 sports teams using us, you know, the top of everybody is because when you wear us, you don't get as injured. And when you do get injured, you recover faster. So anyway, that's, it's, that's kind of the cool thing is it, why I, I chose germanium is because it is the fastest computer chip and the carbon actually allows you to wear the product for a longer period of time. But at the same time, it also works as a semiconductor. And, and you touched up on something that's really important was that, you know, it, it's more about prevention in, in these measures. And it's it's hard to convince people, even as an equine massage therapist, that your, your horse can be on a, a program, a monthly program, bi-monthly program, but use it more as a preventative measure to keep all those muscles, ligaments and tendons and supporting tissues, you know, pliable enough that they can't sustain any injury um, and, and treat it more for that prevention rather than the rehabilitation when the injuries already occurred. Um, so again, you touched up right on. That. And it's about money. So yeah. once you get injured, the cost. So we, you know, when, when, when I got Real Madrid, they called me and said, can you come over Friday? It was Tuesday. And I'm like, why? You just saved us $110,000 because our oh. player got back 10 days earlier than we've ever had anyone get back. We want our product on all the players. Your horse is no different. Your horse is a pro athlete and you're only massaging it once a month. That's yeah. not enough. I mean, the pro athletes are getting, I do the EF race team in the Tour de France. They get a massage every day. They get therapy every day. They get off the bike. They put on Incrediware. They sleep in Incrediware. They're getting all this therapy. They, your horse is no different than the, the, right. the best athlete in the world. And you're not taking care of them. That just doesn't make sense to me. Right. It just does, I'm dumbfounded if you're not doing all these things. Yeah. And if you put into perspective, a lot of the time, you know, if these horses get injured, you've got vet bills, you've got medication bills, you've got like rehabilitations with different body professionals out there where at the end of the day, you could just put a pair of the exercise bandages on those lower limbs to keep them, you know, going. Right. So, you know, Ashley, as a, you know, a hunter for 20 years, you, you got to know that those vet bills can add up over time. Right. Certainly. And you know what, it's a staple in my rides every day. I use them on all four legs to maintain yep. balance and like stop injuries actually from happening. And I've noticed that, Personally, I've actually stopped giving a lot of medication or doing injections that we hunters actually do a lot of. Um, and it stopped because I haven't had to do that since I brought on the Incredible product and Perfect. used it. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, a lot of people with the Incrediware here in Canada, they, they get a little sticker shock. Um, but once they have the products on their horses, they come back for more. Like I, I've got clients that have the hawk uh, the hawk boot uh they've got the hoof socks they you know the standing wraps they're starting to have the whole incrediware collection um so they're going to be super excited when you've launched the other products but they benefit they see the benefits and so i hopefully this webinar and having you jackson and ashley is really going to convince those that were on the fence about purchasing the products that they're just going to step right into it and then give them a go right Ashley, I'm sorry yeah. I took up your time. <laughs> no, <laughs> take it all, please. But Jackson, I do have a question to ask you because you kind of gave us a little timbit that you might be making blankets, actually, for humans. Do you think that you'll ever come out with a sheet or towel that could be used for human and equine? 
you know, it's funny because I just had a really big meeting with the German team and they asked for um, a, a, um, a sheet and I've made sheets already and I made sheets for, for um, some of the most famous horses and it's amazing what it does. So the answer is we're working on it. Um, but as you know, <laughs> wow, the supply chain is crazy. It's so funny. You, you, you said something. I just want to touch on this. I don't know how much time you guys have and I don't want to take up too much time, but you just um, said something that's really important. Remember, I worked on Olympic athletes and I still do work on, uh, you know, a, take a look or at least analyze um, some people just to, so that they can get the right treatment. I don't do horses, but um, I've been asked to for my family. I, I think one of the most important things that you have to realize is balance is the most important thing that you need to take a look at on your horse. And, you know, you, you walk your horse or you trot it or, you know, however you analyze it. I used to analyze athletes and you can see there's something just not right. You know, is, is the, is the shoe right? Is the, you know, what, what's, what's just not right. And what you're doing is you're creating compensatory problems somewhere else. And what Incrediware, we're doing studies right now in Finland that we just started doing is we're taking people out of balance and all they're doing is wearing our products. These are pro athletes. And the next morning they're in balance. And we're like, oh my God, what's happening? We don't understand it yet. But when you're in pain and also when you have a swollen joint and even if you don't have pain, like a scoliosis patient, is that, or maybe you have like uh, facets that are overlapping, you know, or you might have something that's just causing the head to be in a different position. Or um, I just think that you as a therapist um, are the one to be able to analyze a lot of that and being able to, you know, to do the exercise and do the massage is as important as Incrediware. And so what these people don't, a lot of the riders, I, I've been to, I go to Wellington, I go to Thermal, I go to, I go to uh, in Denmark, I go to all the big, the big places. And man, that they get off the horse and that horse is being stretched. They're getting the masseuse. They've got the acupuncture, the chiropractor comes in, then they put on a credit wear. And I think that you, Ashley, you touched on something really important and where the blanket is, is important is, is that while that horse is resting now, and if it's out of balance a little bit, if we can put it in balance, whoa, it's going to be a game changer. And being able to monitor that um, is going to be big. So look for it, but not this year. <laughs> it also would be really great for the Canadian weather here, being so cold and everything. And oh, yeah. yeah. It definitely would truly help. I know that. I've had a lot of customers ask in stores for that so there's so Fingers many crossed. products yeah i've made um stifle um i, I actually had one of the jumpers for for the uh the the olympic team they were at the olympics and the horse the the horse came off the trailer and fell and towards hamstring and had a huge hematoma for six months it wasn't going away and the horse could was lame and we put that stifle wrap i made a double stifle wrap because that was the only way to stay on. And lo and behold, within one week, that horse was walking again. I was like, oh my God, that's, I, you know what? We're not a cure-all. That's what everyone has to realize. We can increase blood flow to help your body function better. We get rid of inflammation that allows your body to prevent injury. And also to be able to train harder, train longer without having injury. Um, but really the other things that you do to your horse, what it eats um, and what, what, what you really, um, you know, you are an athlete and if you're eating an apple like I am here or you're eating treats, that has an effect on that horse <laughs> and that person. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I know we're going to talk mainly about the horse line, but I would like to kind of touch up on the, the human line as well, because obviously we have riders and families and things like that might have injury. Um, so what are the benefits of the human line of products? I know you've touched up on a couple of the aspects, but what, what are the main ones that people can kind of gravitate to when they're thinking about getting a, a you know, a, a knee brace or, um, you know, a sleeve or, or any of your apparel? 
Ashley, do you want to answer? Or do you want me to answer? <laughs> well, I can say in Canada, I don't know in the rest of the world, but in Canada, the biggest staples here would be, especially in the equestrian world, is the fingerless gloves, the back brace, um, the knee sleeve, ankle sleeve, and the socks actually are the top, top, top products for equestrians here. Um, what is that like on your end, Jackson? Because you, I know that you see a lot more wider spread for the you know, human it's, market. It's interesting because, um, and I'll give you something that I'm testing right now. I've got Mavis testing the product and some other um, great writers. I'm making a underpant riding pant so that mm -hmm. you don't get tired while you're riding. It goes underneath wow. your reaches. And um, that is, I'm, I'm on the process of testing. I have five or six females testing it and a few guys. So that's kind of cool. If you wear a product, just think you're sitting in the saddle and your legs are moving, but your butt's not moving, which means that your muscles are uh, isometrically contracting. So wearing our product, um, and if I were if I were a writer, the first thing I would do is I'd be wearing the women's exercise pants while I'm not on the horse. They're they, they're uh, cut similar to Lululemon. I mean, they're cut exactly like Lululemon, but they have a function. Uh, they're not made for like looks or anything, but they do look nice. And that way, you're you get off the butt, you get off the horse, and you're you know it's making you feel good. Your horse knows when you're out of whack. It knows when you're in pain. It knows and can sense if you're confident or not. They That horse knows better than you really what's going on with you. And it can feel that you're out of balance. So here you are taking care of your horse, but you're not taking care of yourself. So you want to make sure that you as a human and as a, you know, the human stuff, we have so many studies, there's so much proof, you know what, you don't have to convince anyone. I mean, I've got the most famous of famous people uh, and doctors using, utilizing our products and with the studies. But what you have to realize is that your horse is not stupid. It knows everything. So you, if this is a, a question writer and they're saying, oh yeah, well, I have a little elbow pain or whatever, that little elbow pain, guess what? It's gonna throw out your shoulder on the other side and make your hip have to hold on tighter. And now it's going to throw you off. If you're wearing Incredaware, it's going to be balancing you while you're doing it. So wearing underwear, the underwear or um, a waist sleeve. A lot of the people, they wait just like their horse to get injured. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. You know what? It. Oh, yeah. Well, it's been there for six months. <laughs> yeah. Like yesterday, I had the seven-time world uh, steer wrestling champion, um, the mom called me up and said, hey, listen, he just broke his typhoid. He just had to have hernia surgery. And he just did, you know, the, the Grand Nationals in Vegas. <laughs> what the hell? You know, that was all torn during it. And he still did it. And what can we do for him? And I think that's where you guys in your business, you have to, we have to be selling prevention. We have to be selling um selling that look we we need to do things to our own body to make us better and when you're not in pain i kid you not you feel amazing you jump out of bed going whoa yes no back pain i can move i sleep in my un that i have this support underwear that i made for for uh players and so i wear that i wear a waist sleeve um sometimes i'll wear wear a sock or wrist sleeve but i think you guys anything that has a moving part <laughs> You know, like you said, Riss, uh, I think that we need to try to have you ride your horse while you're in balance wearing Incredaware. Then the other thing that I suggest that they just started doing in Germany is once they take off the, the bandage wraps um, on the horse's legs overnight, they immediately before they ride, they put them on top of the horse underneath like they put it under not underneath the saddle but on the top and it immediately relaxes the back and warms it up before they go and ride that's that's a that, that's a game changer all on its own that's an incredible they said they have never felt the horse so smooth 
after doing that. So they take off the take off the wrap. They're getting the horse ready to go, you know, or they're changing, you know, putting on whatever they are and they just put them on their backs and Smart. they're seeing the difference. And that's why I need to make the, uh, the little, the blanket or at least some sort of saddle, saddle pad, pad. Saddle, pad. A saddle pad too, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, um, you know, so we're, we're, you asked me about the human side, but it's all the same, Yeah. you know, we're, we, we're both animals and we're yeah. both having the same issues. It's just, you're taking more care of your horse than yourself. Yeah. And you know, people tell me this all the time. I'm going out to dinner. I have to leave in a few minutes, uh, but I'm going out to dinner and tonight I'll probably spend on my meal $40. Maybe if I have a drink, maybe it's going to be $50 with a tap for me. And if you go out to dinner with your boyfriend or wife or what have you, you're going to spend a hundred bucks for one meal that's going to be in your system and help you for 12 hours. And yet you don't want to buy something that's going to last literally forever until you, even if you tear our product, break it, you can sew it back together. It still works. It yeah. never stopped. I wish it would stop. So you buy more. <laughs> you know, <but> it never <laughs> stops. <laughs> that's why you need to come up with more and more things so that we can keep buying it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, you know what? We as horse people, we need to change the world um, and reduce the amount of medication we're using. And I'm so glad when, when I talk to my vets, they use medication, but they're also trying to do things that are holistic. Yes. And anything they can do in combination is great. You don't want to be beauting your horse all the time. You don't want to be, you know, there's, you, you don't know what the horse, yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't feel, oh wow, it's riding great. Two days later, it's like the horse is lame for six months, you know? Yeah. 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 No, and a lot of people are going more the holistic and natural route. So, you know, the fact that this can kind of fall into that category is, is perfect. And I know I was introduced to it from one of my clients um, probably last summer. And when Ashley contacted me and said, hey, I've heard good things and you, you're, I know you're really down in the Niagara region and, and everyone seems to know you, would you like to bring on the line? It was a no brainer for me. I, I knew it was gonna complement my services as well as the other products that I carry and that it would be overall just a better complementary component to offering it to my clients. So it's, it's, it's an amazing line of products. Everyone, again, that I've offered it to thoroughly enjoys it, sees the benefits. Um, so hopefully just having you on today is going to help them have a thorough understanding of, of how it works and why it works so well. I have a great idea, a really good idea for you. I just thought about it. My brain doesn't turn off, by the way. I don't sleep very much. <laughs> <laughs> so when, you know, um, we are our professional athletes. You know, I was just in Girona in Spain with the 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 EF race team. And they we're, we're going to do a photo shoot, interview some guys. Oh, they're getting massage. They're running a little bit late. And then they come out from the massage and they're wearing Incredaware. Because why? After massage, it heats you up. It vasodilates you. It causes a little bit more swelling. We tell you drink a ton of water. Well, when you, when you wear Incredaware afterwards, you don't have to do as much. It's getting rid of that. It's pushing in the lymphatic system. So I'm thinking when you're working on the spine and massaging up there, after you're finished, put the put the um, the pads on them, right yeah. on their back or wherever. While you're doing the rest of the horse, I think it would be a miracle. When I, I'm going to give you one story. This is crazy. We I went to Dr. Martinelli, who's a famous sports injury veterinarian who talks to no one, nobody, and I. I went down to him, someone got me into him and he said, why are you here? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm here because I wanna just see if a product works. You're not trying to sell me anything? <laughs> no, 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 I just wanna see if it works. He was intimidating. <laughs> so well, I don't believe anything you have. Uh, let me go get a lame horse. So he has his own MRI, he has his, his own imaging systems. And everything. We pull the horse up and the horse is standing there and it can't get comfortable. And we put um, a wrap on each leg and the horse went to sleep. We took the wrap off the horse and the horse started doing this and we put the wrap back on and he went back to sleep. And that was the moment that Dr. Martinelli said, what else do you have? You know? 
And I think, you know, if you guys need this, the people listening, you need to be able to see how it works. Just go and take somebody with a horse with wind puffs, you know, <laughs> and see how fast the horse's stand is still going nowhere. Where did the swelling go? How could it disappear? Yeah. Um, and in a short period of time. So I think um, we're not, like I said, we're not a cure-all. We want to we want to really work with everybody to try to be an ancillary product that makes you better. But, you know, you're not having to have a vet come and work on you every day and charge you 400 bucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah, precisely. And a message to everyone, just summing all that up is look after yourself first. That will reciprocate in the horse. And then if there's any other issues, target what needs to be done with the horse and then there's a complete balance between both species and, and being able to ride at that point. Right. Yeah. yeah. That horse knows when you're happy and when you're sad. 100%. And you, 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 when you're, when you feel amazing. So if you wear incredible and you jump up, wow, we're doing women's, I'm just starting a women's line of clothes for women, bras, exercise, pants, shirts, everything. Wow. And we'll do a study to show that it makes you feel good. And if you feel good and you're wearing it, I mean, maybe I should come out with women's riding clothes, huh? Yes. Or yes, you should. <laughs> I'll let you guys I can make you a list one. a yeah. mile long, probably, on what to come out with. Yeah, we're 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 uh, we're trying to do a lot of different things. We're changing colors. You know, we're trying to change some colors too. So hopefully by this summer we'll have um, standing wraps that are, are black as well. Um, we've, I've already sent them all the fabrics. We've already had samples, but they weren't perfect. I like perfect. So, um, it takes a little bit longer, but if the audience out there has something that they have a, you know, that needs help or something like that, just let me know. I'm always trying to make stuff to help people, um, mm -hmm. or horses that maybe I don't have. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm like Ashley said, I'm sure there's going to be quite the list. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've actually got one question from uh, from one of our viewers here for you, Jackson. Okay. She said, um, how could this help my grandma? She had a toe amputation from diabetes. So something you've already touched on. She also just had two stints put in each of her legs as her feet are getting worse. <clears throat> one stint isn't helping and has, uh, and she has to have more of the foot amputated. Can these products help her and specific to her situation? Yeah, where she where does that girl live? She's in the Niagara region. Yeah, it's so interesting because McMaster University is, you know, is right there in Toronto. So it's close. Yep. Um, it's a miracle. Okay, it's real. It, I all that's all I can say is that the reason, you know, if she has diabetic neuropathy and she's having or even even uh, the amputations due to vascular condition. That's what we do. We, we increase blood flow we, without even doing anything. She's got a condition she can't move around. So we are gonna increase the blood flow. The reason why you have neuropathy pain or you're getting amputations is because the swelling around the cells in the tissue are not getting oxygen. And when they don't get oxygen, just like when you have a heart attack, it gives you burning pain. So oftentimes they will get a burning pain, you know, associated with it. The swelling is what we need to work on. So what she needs is she needs to have a full length leg sleeve and our circulation socks. And she should be wearing them basically 24 seven. She should notice a difference very fast. The stints in her legs are because the swelling around the tissue of the vascular system tends to squeeze off and then you get blockage. So you have to put a stent just like you do in your heart. It's just the tube that goes in and doesn't last forever, but oftentimes it allows more flow to go in. She might have osteo, um, osteosclerosis, which is a hardening of the arteries uh, and atherosclerosis, which is really common with diabetic neuropathy. And so wearing the product is going to allow her to maybe not have to amputate again or not as high up. Now, remember, we're, we're doing studies. With, this is what's so crazy. I'm doing post-concussive brain injuries. I'm doing facial reconstruction, all these different things because it allows your body to heal faster with less scarring 
And then it's all, remember, the result of increasing blood flow and reducing inflammation. And that's what your grandmother has, is that she has reduced inflammation, she has inflammation, and she has decreased blood flow and blood speed. And so uh, I would definitely um, get those products like yesterday, and she needs to make sure she sleeps in them. And they're non-compressive, by the way. Does that help? Jackson, I wanted to add to that. Can you talk about, before you have to go, about compression? Because I get a lot of people saying, oh, it's it's compression. It's based on compression. And you yeah, yeah. have to correct them every time. Okay. So number one is I, I showed you that you can just lay the product on. It'll quadruple your blood flow. Okay. If I take and I squeeze my arm or I squeeze my finger or I have a ring on my finger, I take it off. There's a, there's a, an indentation there. We, we, the first thing I want all of your writers to do is to go and Google studies in compression. This is how many you'll find that actually show compression helps. In the equine industry, it's really behind the times. It still thinks compression. It also thinks, you know, right now ice is going away in humans. They're, we're not doing ice as much because if you go and jump out into, say, uh, the ocean in the winter time, you're going to last five minutes. Okay. Now you're doing that with your cells. You know, you're going to do that. You're going to, you know, so I'm not going to poo poo uh, ice all the way, but I have to tell you that when I compress and I hold it there on my neck long enough, man, I get lightheaded and I can't think. And I want you guys to think this way. Compression means I'm decreasing blood flow. If I take a compressive device, God, I wish I had one. If I take something that compresses and it's squeezing out like a toothpaste and it's squeezing, oh yeah, the swelling is gone. Guess what? During that entire time, my heart is trying to plump blood down to it through an area that's compressed. So when it's compressed, I'm going to have increased blood pressure, trying to push blood through a hole this small and all the tissue that's squeezed, they just finished doing this study. When you compress the, the tissue, so this is not getting any blood flow, you just stopped thermal regulation. Okay, what does that mean? I just squeeze this. If you don't have compression that's like this, and that's why when you see our product too, because when you put it on, it has lines, like this. So even if you squeeze too tight, it has like an aeration of non-compression because what happens is it doesn't allow your body to get rid of heat. So you're going to hold in more heat. So two things. One is if you're wearing compression and you're not moving. So on humans, you wear, they, they were wearing compressive leg sleeves. And so that when you're moving, it pumps the lymphatic system more. Now you stop that girl that just called in about her grandmother, you would never compress a diabetic person that has an amputated leg. Why would you do it on a normal person? Because now you're gonna actually totally you know, stop. So Incrediware is not about compression. You have to have enough compression to hold it on. But the cool part about Incrediware is, even though you're, it's tight, you can't make it too tight because it's vibrating the cells and it's increasing blood flow and blood speed and it won't stop doing that. And so you get the thermal regulation at the same time. So compression is, you know, it's a, in the human realm is going away and it's just going to take a long time in the equine. But if you, if you like it, you know, I, I like getting a hug sometimes. It feels so good. But after a while, I'm like, get away, <laughs> step away. And your body is the same way. I, I, I think the best thing that you want your, your, um, your clients to do is go and, you know, wrap around the arm all night long. And after a while, it's like, oh my God, yeah. you know, I want to take that thing off. Yeah. And sometimes when you do have like a tight, you know, compression going, you're, you can see that there's not a lot of blood flow because your skin's a totally different color, right? It's like a milky oh white almost. And as soon as you alleviate that pressure, your your 
it goes red, right? It get, it, yes. The blood flow starts going until it gets to that, that neutral color of your skin. But yeah. It, they can do, this is a really a good one. You can do that here. You just take and you cover uh, the both arteries going into your hand. So you have radial and ulnar and you just squeeze it. And then you put your hand out and your hand is white and you let yeah. go. And now it's red yeah. that fast. Yeah. And that's what you're doing when yeah. you're compressing something. It's, it, it, it's counterintuitive for you to be so smart in life and not understand that if I squeeze something, it decreases it. It doesn't increase it. Because people think, oh, I squeeze the hose and it comes out faster. Yeah, but the hose is not a, a tissue. Once you squeeze the tissue, nothing's getting into the tissue. Right. Yeah, it diverts everything deep. But guess what? It's because nothing can go where you need it. The muscle's yeah. not deep. The muscle's shallow. The muscle's on yeah. the outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you're squeezing the hose, yeah, you get more pressure and, and water flow. But if you were to leave it open, you get a steadier stream, right? And a, a wider stream of water. So yeah, that's a really great analogy. I like that one. Perfect. Thank you, Jackson, for that. Yeah, this is great. So much more informative. And I, Ashley, I'm sure you're learning just as much as I am right now about all this. Every time Jackson and I talk, I learn about so many things. He blows my mind every time. <laughs> Truly. It, it's funny because, you know, I talked about that new thing that we're doing for horses. You know, we're doing po the post concussive brain injuries because when you put on our headband, so I'm making eyepieces now for anti-aging and for, we're doing post-surgery on eye lifts um, for getting rid of the swelling. But what we noticed was uh, migraines and headaches. Uh, they yeah. tend to go away when you're wearing them. And the, what is the most important time for you to be wearing Incredaware? If you could only wear, you know, eight hours a day, when would you, when is the best time to wear it? Nighttime by far. Nighttime. Absolutely. Your, your heart rate goes down, your blood pressure goes down and you're recumbent. Nothing's pushing. What pushes the lymphatic system to get rid of swelling is muscle contraction. So if you can wear us at night, Absolutely. And then what we just discovered um, with pro soccer players and pro hockey players in Europe is a lot of the players sleep naked, <laughs> just like a horse. You know? And they're like, hey, we just did this study that showed that you can have 40% less muscle load, meaning your muscles recovered, um, if you sleep in our product. And they're like, we sleep naked. You're never going to get us. We make millions of dollars. Why do we want to sleep? Well, that's why I need the bed sheets. You know, yes. but what I, what we said was, okay, well, let's test it just for three hours after you exercise. And we did that. And if you're just, if you can't wear us at night, just wear us for three hours after you exercise and this, it'll do 30% instead of 40% recovery. Yes. And that way, you know, when you wake up in the morning tomorrow though, you know, when you wake up and you're stiff and you're like, Ugh, man, I'm stiff. If you wake up and you're not stiff, you go, oh my God, I can't wait to get going. That's what your horse feels like when they're wearing Incredware. They get up and like, whoa, it's not sore, it's not sore. Why not? Because it's not swollen. And I challenge everybody that has a back injury to wear our waist sleeve at night sleeping. When they wake up in the morning, they're gonna wake up and go, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not stiff. And when you're not stiff, they found with pro athletes, they judge how well their practice day is going to be not on what they're doing that day. It's on how they feel. Yeah. It's not their, their biochemical markers, anything else, how I eat yesterday. It's a, wow, man, I just feel loose today. Today's going to be a great day. And already you're thinking about it and your horse is going to do the same. Perfect. That sums it up so well. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is great. And uh, a lot of people are, are thanking you for coming today. And, you know, they're all telling me about their experience with their products and how much they love wearing their apparel and seeing the benefits from their horses. This is, this is great. Yeah. My, my husband sleeps in his, his brace. I've got uh, someone that says they love their long sleeve shirt. Um, oh, someone has a shirt. They someone like a lucky. shirt. Sorry. They would like a shirt. So oh, I'm going to come out with like, Sure. I did shirts for the U.S. Olympic water polo and volleyball team, ah. and I have given away some of the shirts. We're, new shirts are coming. Okay. And I have to tell you, 
it is the most bizarre because I put it on the first time I made it, I made it for the Norwegian Olympic team and they were out, they're out, they're doing their Nordic stuff and they stopped and they froze to death because there was sweat and I made it too active. Just like when you put on the wraps on a horse and you wet it to cool it down, they got so freezing, they're freezing cold. And so I thought, oh, what's going on? So I put it on and I'm hyper already. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wear this shirt. I have too much energy. <laughs> so um, I, I made it a little less active and I'll sleep at it at night. And man, I swim every single day and lift weights. And it's amazing what it does for um, soreness of the shoulders. So got to make the horse uh, shirt. So, <laughs> yeah. Jackson, you talk about all these amazing products you do for all the teams, but yet we don't have them on the shelves to sell. Uh, and they're the, well, everyone so keeps I asking have, for them. I, I, I will do this. I'm going to do this. And um, I'm going to give it. Um, Ashley, this is to you. I will make two of my new writing pants that I'm doing for testing and I'll send them up to you and you can do a contest to see who gets to be a tester. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah. These are, um, these are they're the, the waistband is my women's um, exercise pants. And then from here down are my leg sleeves. And then I put a little piece of material here to hold it. So it doesn't slide. You can wear it underneath your pants or you can sleep in it. Um, we just, I, I just made it for the EF race team and Real Madrid soccer team to use for recovery, but I made them in men, the men's type. So um, I'll make two pairs and I don't like to make different, too many different sizes. So if the girls are like between a two and a four, it's the best. So, and I'm going to have to leave here. So I have to go to dinner. Okay. So, Thank you so much, Jackson. This has been incredible and so informative. And yeah, it was a great surprise for everyone as well as myself. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule to come and talk Absolutely. to us here. You know what I what I would love to do is, you know, have the people be interactive too. So if you ever yeah. are able to do it where they're interactive and asking me questions, that's kind of cool too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And and Ashley and I were saying we'll probably do a follow up one where it'll be more of an interaction. Um, yeah. So people can pop their lovely faces on and say hello to you and, and ask you the questions right up front. I love it. I love it. Let's go change the world, make it a better place. But remember, you and your horse are a team. So you have whatever you do for your horse, you got to do for you and vice versa. Thank you so much. Thank All right. So much, so much I'll talk to you guys later. If you Thanks. continue, have a great one. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Too. Have a good bye. day. Well, that was exciting. That, that was, was so, so exciting. <laughs> that was great. Lauren, we're going to have to talk now about these breaches special that we're able uh, to offer people. Yeah, That's amazing. As well as every other product that he mentioned. I don't know how long your list is right now, but. <laughs> <laughs> totally exciting. <laughs> well, it's more like make a shirt already done. Where can we get this? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That email's going out tomorrow, right? <laughs> it's actually being written up as we speak. Oh, even better. Look at you on the ball. <laughs> love it. So we, we kind of touched up on the human line a little bit, which was great. Um, but I want to I want to dive right into the equine line. We got we got the history and stuff. So maybe let's get specific on to the products that right now is available in the Incredaware um, equine products. Um, so yeah. we'll, let's talk about these hoof socks because I find them the most versatile, the most sought after, but also ones that are hard to convince people to try and, and bring in. And I'm gonna show some pictures while you're gonna talk about the, the hoof socks. Should we tell no, you can go can ahead. See the, okay, so the hoof socks are um, actually one of the biggest sellers um, here in Canada. Um, people use them for the sock itself on the hoof. Thank you for the photo. That actually helps very greatly. Um, but actually, if you reverse them upside down, you can actually wear them on the hawks. You can pull them up in this position as well that you have still photoed um, to put on the knees as well and the whole leg core actually area as well as you can do that on the back as well i do find though that um, you need to stretch them when you're putting them on and like i always advise customers to hold their fingers in it to make sure it doesn't get clipped on any nails 
from their shoes or anything. So to always like bring it open and then pull it up and then put it on and then make sure it's rolled very much like a donut because it's easier to apply that way. Um, it can be worn for 24 hours dry and up to one hour wet. Okay. So that, that's something we didn't really touch on was the icing effect. Before we get to that, when it comes to the, the hoof socks, there's do's and don'ts as to when and when the uh, horse can wear them, right? Um, yes. I often get asked, and I'm sure you do too, when can I use them? When can't I use them? And would the exercise bandages be better? So when it comes to the socks, when would you suggest is the optimal time to use them? And when's the situation when you don't want to use them? So I would say the optimal time as Jackson even touched on is nighttime for horses, because that's the time where we're resting and they are as well. Um, it's they're used for post-workout recovery. They are, if you haven't seen them, they are very much like a sock material. So you don't want to be riding in them because you will ruin them. If especially a horse that overreaches, they might clip themselves and then it will potentially rip the product. So you don't want to be doing that. So the optimal time to use it would be at nighttime and or after a post-workout. I always use them for resting and recovery at that time um as well as pre-workout as well i would say because it gets the body moving and the blood flow going as well perfect and then i like to say as well as you know we've all worn socks and they kind of start shimmying down so this is no different than with the horses obviously they've got their mobile joints uh whether it's the hawk the knee or the fetlock and this is going to create a little bit of tension on the on the sock itself and so it might have a tendency to slip down so i know we can combine the products which is going to be maybe something new to to people but this is why yeah. we suggest using them in cohesion with other uh incrediware products just so it doesn't fall um because obviously we don't want them getting over the foot or anything like that right that's correct yes and especially in high motion areas like us like if we wear something um constantly like on our elbow or something and we're moving our arm back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, it will slide because in a high motion area, especially horses that go up and down, up and down, up and down in their stalls overnight, or they're walking back and forth, or you don't know what they're doing in there at nighttime, let's say, um, they, it, it does potentially move um, in the high motion area. And I do advise people to combine the products that we have together, but not to use it with other companies' products as well, because you're paying for the product for its benefits and its technology. If you combine it with other companies' products, you're essentially prohibiting it from actually working. So you'll buy the technology from Incrediware of the socks, let's say, for instance, and it will work. It's magic. And then it will ricochet that off into another bandage stable wrap let's say but then it's going to bounce back in so you're yeah. trying to bring everything out when essentially it's being pushed back in which you don't want to do so i always say to customers and stores as well it's very important to use our product together and eliminate using other products as well and here's a great example of using the hoof socks with the exercise bandages I've got a, a few yes. just yeah, yeah. And, and it's like what jackson was saying right like if if you put the products on, you're going to feel the heat on the outside. But if you were to slip your fingers between the fabric and, and the skin surface, it's going to be a lot cooler, which is what's so great about having that geranium and carbon negative ions. So going on what you said, if you use something like the hoof socks and then put just a regular, say, cotton over top, then you're stifling the heat inside and it's not working at its optimal function of, of bringing that heat out and still being able to keep the contact with the skin cool. Correct, yeah. And like Jackson said also too, that's a big um, question a lot of people ask is, well, why does it feel warm after? Yeah. Or like, why does the technology, especially on the hoof socks, why does it feel warm and not cold, like ice cold? And the reason is what Jackson said, it's pulling everything out. Yeah. And it's colder in the core versus on the outside. No, exactly. Another here example is the 
the uh, standing wraps with the exercise bandages. A, a lot of the time, though, a lot of people I see use the actual, um, you know, standing wraps, just ones you buy every day at the tax store. Does that have a, a, an issue with these the standing wraps to actually have those actual standing bandages versus like the Incrediware exercise bandages? So I always tell customers to, it doesn't because we need we don't have one yet. But um, I always tell customers to purchase the thinner material to allow um, airflow in and out and to allow it to escape essentially the heat. Any heat or swelling that's there that might be being drawn out, it's able to come out. Because if you use the thick cotton materials, it will potentially hold it within. Perfect. That's it. These yep. photos actually, we did, I did these photos at a photo shoot. So oh, they're awesome. um, this yeah. horse actually that we used it on, we put the, when Jackson was saying, once you put it on, you can feel it right away. This particular horse actually we put, um, after this, we put the hawk boots on, you could see them starting to like um, move their back legs a bit. And they were going back and forth and back and forth for a, a, probably about 20 seconds. And then they just stopped. Cause they were like, what is this? What is this? And then they could feel it like intensely and then they just stopped and they were half asleep. Wow. Yeah. It's incredible yeah. to see the reactions of some of these horses when they have the products on it, it's truly night and day with them. All right. So we talked about the hoof socks. So why don't we talk about the exercise bandages now? When so the exercise? It, yeah, sorry, go. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. The exercise bandages are probably one of, my top sellers um just because again functionality with them um but again they come into a little bit of a controversy whether the hoof socks are better or the exercise bandages so what makes the exercise bandage just that little bit better uh for the average day riding horse so i would say they're both really great products um to have on hand, especially like in your tack box, um, when you're going to shows specifically too. The exercise bandages are amazing because you can ride in them. Um, and then after you're done riding, you can just hose them off and then ice essentially. So you don't have to go lugging all those ice packs to horse shows and lugging everything. And it's funny, this the looks you get at horse shows this past summer and the summer before when I was there, um, when you're hosing your exercise bandages off, people are like, what? what are you doing? You're doing your polos? And I'm like, no, no, they're not polos. They're exercise bandages. And they're like, but you can't get them wet. What are you doing? And I'm like, no, you can. It's okay. So they are my biggest staple too, where uh, I ride in them religiously. Um, I love them. I find that it really depends on what the customer is going after or what the person really wants. Yeah. So the hoof socks will target different areas where this you can do while you're riding. Yeah. And that's, that's what it comes down to, right? Is uh, as retailers of the products, we ask the questions to be able to find the product that's going to be most beneficial. So if they want to use it while they're riding, these are the go-to, but if you're looking for like rehab yeah. or stall rest or trailering or anything that's non like overly mobile, then you could go with like the hoof socks. Is that the way you so kind of- So those exercise bandages are actually the ones I have here because that's the photo shoot we use them for. <laughs> and Jackson- They look so much different. And Jackson announced today that the black exercise bandages are coming out. They are coming towards the warehouse and hopefully we'll get them at some point here in Canada. Um, and we'll I know, I should have asked him, are those 25 heading towards the Canadian border now? <laughs> Maybe just a set or two we can get. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Next one. Uh, let's talk about those standing wraps because those are something that people see and they like. But again, that sticker shot kind of kind of sticks with them a little bit. But maybe we can convince them on um, why the standing wraps are so ideal to have in their tap trunks or their uh, first aid kits. So personally speaking from experience, this, I got, I didn't even say this, but I got into Incrediware actually, cause I had a horse that got very badly injured. You briefly mentioned it in your thing, uh, in my intro, but I, he was very badly injured and had severe swelling. 
And the products actually that I bought originally was the standing wraps itself. And the results were remarkable. They were fast. They were um, game changing and life changing. Actually, it saved my horse's leg, to be truthful. Um, I couldn't do anything. Actually, he probably wouldn't be where he is today if it wasn't for Incredware, to be truthful. Um, so my biggest thing, and the one that you'll see the most change, the fastest change, I think, is the standing wraps, actually. Um, you put them on literally at, at any period. You can wear them up to 24 hours. They're the only ones that can't get wet, um, but you can put them on, wear them for 24 hours dry, and then rewrap, take them off, reset, and put them back on. There is no other product on the market that can do that. Um, for that extended period of time. And the results are fantastic. Um, I sent you a photo actually, Lauren, in an email. Did you get that with the gray, the, the gray horse's legs? Um, um, might have, it might have. That you might be able to pull up because that was actually just recently taken. I actually had a customer who had an injury and um, it was recently taken up before and after, um, after wearing it for five hours actually. That one? No, it's, um, I don't know if they'll be able to see it on me. It was a side by side. No, I don't think I, oh, yes, I did. I think I did. Um, let's see if I can bring that up. So one second, I'm going to change that so we can see the full picture there. And you can see that this horse has a combination there as well. So maybe just want to kind of talk about that why i find this yeah photo so here. this is a hawk boot combination actually so sorry um hoof sock combination so the hoof socks are on the back legs if you can you can see and then the front and backs both have um, the staining wraps on them i think i just located it so hold on i'll share my screen once it Perfect. comes up So biggest thing with the standing wraps too, is they're really great to use on trailer rides. Um, when you're going to horse shows and coming back um, every day to use in recovery and support, even as Jackson said, actually putting it on the back, I'm going to start doing it. There you go. So this horse had stitches, three stitches on the left is the original photo um, taken in the morning and the right is in the stall. Um, a couple hours later. And you can already see the difference between the swelling. I don't know if you can see that, like, especially on the bones. Yeah. Like, well, you can see that like, there's more, yeah, there's more of that, you know, indentation where those ligaments and, and tendons are right behind yeah. that cannon bone. And right? there's a where ton of fluid on the front, especially where the right. stitches were. Yeah. Versus afterwards. No, so, that's and that's literally only a couple hours later. So, Imagine if you use this all the time, every day in your program, especially when you're jumping after you're jumping, it's the, the best product to use. Um, I'm not just saying that because I represent it, but it truly is life-changing. Even the human line, I have people calling me all the time saying, oh my gosh, I just got those socks. You know, it helped me so much. I'm gonna go give my grandmother this now because she has issues with her elbow and then grandma gets it and then grandma's like oh my god I can feel my elbow again and then it ricochets and then everyone comes back yeah no exactly yeah I know like all the products work extensively well um what about the hawk boot that one I don't think gets enough recognition but um a, a great product nonetheless to, to have do you have one on on you that you can grab? I can grab I one don't. if you don't. I don't. Okay, hold on. Let me just grab one so I can okay. explain. Oh. So I Ashley's just grabbing one. I'll let you guys kind of know that with the hawk boots, they are one size, and you can either get the left or the right. So if you do need both, you do need to order a left and a right one. But they're 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 amazing to say the least. I mean, I say that all the time about these products, but this one um, is, is nice and thick and it has this, the straps in, in the ideal places and they don't, I don't find that they uh, have an issue when it comes to rubbing. 
I find that they're they're pretty good with any kind of rubbing when it comes to those straps on the uh, medial aspect. Yeah, they don't rub actually at all. Yeah. So the material is extremely, I'm trying to push on it so you can kind of see, it's extremely plush, which is why it doesn't. So I'm just going to mute for a sec so I don't um, pull. Oh, the joys of sticky Velcro, <laughs> especially on new products. Got to put your arm strength into there. It's nice because the Velcro goes all the way around as well, not just the front. It does. So it goes all the So I'm just going to show you the inside first. So it actually has the same technology inside, which a lot of people can't see because it's the regular black on the outside. But it has the technology on the inside. And the best part about this is it can be iced. People don't realize that. Nice. So you just have to wet the inside and then put it on. And it's perfect because it actually, the knee essentially goes in in the proper spot it doesn't actually and then what you do is you do i always do the middle strap first because it makes it easiest yeah, sorry all the velcro sticking to each other it makes it the easiest to start doing up and then the top actually goes around and then it loops for security oh. jackson's a genius <laughs> and then it goes <laughs> back around and then the bottom just loops over and then it so that goes on one side see it like sticks and yeah. then sticks again awesome yeah and these are a remarkable as you were saying product actually especially for people who um want the hawks to target it's the best one especially to leave on at night time and extended periods of time i always say the hawk boots are the better option than the hoof socks even though the hoof socks are so versatile in so many different ways it's when you're not watching them and being able to keep an eye on the socks, it's always best to get the hawk boots, I personally think. With the hawk boot as well, should you put, say, a standing wrap underneath just in case it starts wiggling, or do you find the hawk boots are pretty good all on their own? The hawk boots can stay completely on their own. Okay, that's good. Rolling, turning, up, down. I've seen shavings everywhere and you can tell a horse has been lying down and thrashing all over their stall, enjoying their new shavings bed. Um, and they stay on perfectly. And they stay put. Perfect. Cause that's yeah. always a really big concern, right? Is people at a boarding facility want to leave the hawk boot on overnight, but are not there to monitor it. So, you know, if, yeah. if it can stay in its place, I think it's going to be a huge. It stays huge completely deal. in its place. It does. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. I did want to touch on though the standing wraps. I forgot to say when we were talking about it that can um, make sure you're putting on the active side. There's right. a lot of people get confused and switch it. So it's not the plush side. It's actually the side that has the embroidery on it that says active side. Perfect. Because yeah, it needs the for Incredible to work, it needs the skin to skin the skin to product contact to work. Perfect. And if Good it doesn't point. have that, then you won't get the best benefits of it. And last but not least, the one people are maybe not too familiar with, the neck sleeve. So the neck sleeve is actually based on the Human Line product. The Actually, what Jack, do you have one behind you? Nope, don't have one of those either. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a picture of those if you want to show it. But yeah, Jackson did mention that it originated from the Human Line. I think it was a, a waist sleeve. Um, and so they developed it again for the equine line. I have yet to have a client order these from me, but I can see and I can picture a lot of the uh, clients that I, you know, have that horses could use these. So I'm glad we're kind of talking about them. Today. Yeah. So the next sleeve is the same, very similar. It's the same, actually, um, to the human body sleeve, actually. Yeah. So what Jackson was telling everyone to go out and buy, this is exactly what he was actually telling you to go buy, just the horse version. Um, so it goes on the horse's neck. Um, I always tell customers to see if they can secure it to, like, with a blanket clip or something. Like, it fits perfectly on the horse's neck. However, again, high motion area, horses bend to eat and then come up and then bend and then come up. So the constant movement at times can shift it. So I always say to customers, if they're trying to leave it on over long periods of time, just to do a bank blanket clip to their blanket or just monitor them. 
it can be iced as well. It's very, I don't know if you can see this on it. It's very stretchy. Very stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So basically the neck sleeve is going to be ideal for those horses with tense neck muscles or some sort of muscle injury, or I guess in in sense too, if there's any kind of um, skeletal structure that's, you know, had an issue or had to be readjusted or an injury to that, that the surrounding muscle will obviously benefit from having the neck sleeve on. A hundred percent. Yeah. And it also just doesn't work just that area. Like it's bringing the blood flow and circulation to that area specifically, but it comes from somewhere. So it's coming from the top and it's coming from the bo- like the back area. So it's yeah. actually just because Incredawear is just on one set part of the body, it doesn't mean the rest of the body is not working as well. It is yes. because it's targeting other areas as well. Right. Yeah. I and mean, especially, again, you have those horses that have an injury and sometimes those compensation issues stand out more than the actual source of, of pain or injury. So with the neck sleeve, even though the injury might potentially not be in the neck, but the complementary, you know, issues that come with an injury are in the neck, it's still going to help it and aid in that lymphatic drainage that Jackson was talking about when it comes to an injury. Exactly. Yeah. So one thing we keep talking about is this icing effect. Um, and I'm kind of, I know we're going to kind of cut it down onto time shortly because Jackson was so informative. We just kind of <laughs> In, indulged okay. in what he was saying but the icing effect is a huge thing with the the horse line so what are the benefits of having that icing effect like jackson talked about how it pulls the heat and, and leaves a cooler surface but we can take it up a notch with the horse line and add water for an icing effect so how how beneficial is that so i'm actually just going to step in for a sec you actually can do that with any of the human oh, sleeves too. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So any human sleep, I mean, not the socks, obviously, but I don't know who would want cold feet, but um, any of the human sleeves, you can actually do that too. So the knee sleeve is an example that you can do it, the elbow, um, any of those you can actually ice, use as ice oh. alternatives. But the biggest, it's a, I always say that icing is a perk to Incredaware that you can do it. It's not the actual true benefit of the products. Like I always say it being dry is actually where you see, because you can use it much longer dry, but having this icing effect is a bonus. It essentially acts as a instant ice boot or ice pack. Um, It really, really cools down the inner core of the horses um, and it does a reverse cycle. So essentially a lot of they, we always say to use warmer water because then it cools it down actually yeah that warmer so water definitely you you can feel it you have it in warm water you bring it right out and within seconds you can feel the change the cold. yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's crazy how going from something so warm goes so cold so quickly it just activates those negative ions and then gets gets that benefit really going it does so, yeah and you actually and especially when you're using the exercise um bandages you need to if you're wetting them you do need to make sure you're wetting them pretty well because mm-hmm. you have to go through the two layers to get to the leg essentially so just make sure both layers are actually wet the hoof socks as well um it is a thicker material um to make sure that it's wet thoroughly that's an example of how to wet the hawk boots yeah that you just put up yeah i find the cold hosing is or sorry the hosing aspect is, is really beneficial but yeah a lot of people don't think to even like just open the bandage a little bit put the hose in there so it goes down um you can obviously put the exercise bandages into say uh, a bucket of warm water and then wring them out and apply them um if you want to as well i've done i've done that a couple of times and yeah the benefit of just applying that hoof sock into some water and wringing it out as well and yeah, I, I didn't know how to do the, the hawk boots. So when I got this picture, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Like that ex- rather than dunking it in a bucket of water or hosing it down, this seems to be a better application for it. It's true. Yeah. And I would actually say too that um, I know that you said putting it in, in a bucket, you can do. Yeah, that's certainly something you can do. But I always found it really personally hard to wrap it, especially the exercise bandages when, and put it in the hoof socks when they're wet them on after they've been wet 
So I always find it easier and a little bit, you don't lose as much water, I should say, that's that's in the materials if you just put it, if you apply it first and then wet it. And then wet it. Just make sure it's yep. thoroughly, thoroughly wet. <laughs> And you should be able to tell, especially because the, especially with the gray, it might be hard with the black coming out, but with the gray, you can see the different color yeah. of gray. It's like, like ombre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, that's all I've really got. Uh, there's a couple of questions that did come through um, that yeah. you can answer for me. How long do the exercise bandages take to dry after they come off the legs after hosing? Usually... Um, I'm going to say about, depending on the environment, like if it's not freezing cold out, out or in a cold environment, I would say about four hours. Out. Perfect. And when they're wet, it's only up to an hour, right? For icing. Yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, they'll stay wet for a while, but the true effect of the icing is only up to an hour. Perfect. Oh, I think that's and I would okay. hang them up actually like hang the exercise bandages like I don't unroll this but hang it yeah. like, essentially like the open so it gets airflow to dry yeah if you bunch it or leave it wet like rolled in any way it won't dry properly yeah I mean, put over like a drying wrap or actually what I've done too is put them over a hanger and like let them oh, drain yeah. down and, and put them higher up so they get the more airflow to them but it doesn't really take them long to dry and even if no, they're and a little, especially if you wring them out too, that helps. Yeah, yeah. And even if they're just a little on the damp side, like you can still utilize them. That's what what's so great. Oh, and an important thing I forgot to mention is the washing of yes, them as yes. well. Discuss that. Um, so all products I say garment bag, um, hang dry. Essentially, no agitator in the middle of the machines is ideal. Um, but especially with the exercise bandages and anything with Velcro. Um, like the hawk boots, make sure that the Velcro is fastened to the Velcro itself and then put that stuff separately in a different bag. So it doesn't, in case it unravels, it doesn't stick onto anything else and pull it. Yeah. yeah, no, perfect. And then just use like a mild detergent and on like a cold or warm cycle, correct? Yes. Yeah. And I always say, I you always do a gentle cycle. Yeah. So it's not yeah. throwing it all around everywhere. No. They're, they're delicate. You want to treat them yeah. as such. <laughs> and they last. They last a long, 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 long time. So that's another thing. Like, as Jackson says, we need to keep up with making new, like, he wishes that they didn't last because then you'd buy more, but they do last. <laughs> yes, they are tried, tested, and, and that's true. standing rocks are amazing. Yes. Like, they are expensive. I understand that. But you get the benefits from the expense. Well, and, like, Jackson was saying, right, it's, it's about preventative, right? You could yeah. have your standing wraps or you can get these big vet bills where if you use the standing bandages, there's a prevention that you, those vet bills won't exist. <laughs> so especially people who inject usually like the hawks, yeah. everything yeah. like it'll the prolong legs. the effects of it, right? It, even if you have to get the injections for the hawks and you have the hawk boots, it's going to prolong the effects of it because of the, the circulation and, and all that component of it at, at the actual limb itself, right? They so, won't even probably have to use actually injections if they use the Incredaware. There you religiously. go. Religiously. Yeah. There we go. So not only did we have Jackson as a surprise, but we also have a surprise for anyone that attended today. And let me just throw that up on here. We have graciously decided that we are going to provide 20% off any equine and or human line product uh, for the next 24 hours or so. So you can head on over to, and I'll put the information up, uh, either email or text me with the code that you see on the screen there, it's HET22, or you can head over to Hayward Equestrian's website um, and put in your order and place that code in and you'll get that 20% off. So again, the code is HET22 um, and then it's 20% off your order and it's only until tomorrow evening at nine o'clock. And let me just throw up our contact information there so that they know where they can go and how they can save. There it is and here it comes. And that is also, sorry, Lauren, both the equine and the human line. That's correct. Yeah. So there's our contact information there 
on how to place your orders um, and save. And to be honest with you, this is this is a great promotion because there's not often times that the Incrediware has a little bit of a, a deal offered to the to the use, yeah. end user. So definitely take advantage of this for the next 24 hours. Again, the code is HET22 and it's 20% off the human and the horse line. And again, go through Hayward or you can come right through me for healthy equine therapies. Well, that is all I have on my list. Do you have anything else to add, Ashley? I know it's this one hour webinar has soon turned into almost two hours, so. That's okay, it's been a great night. Yeah. So very informative and hopefully everybody got the information they need. Um, I'll read you some of the comments so you can see, you know, thank you uh, to Jackson. It was amazing. Um, lots of thank yous. So informative. Thank you. Great information. Um, yeah, and people asking for different, uh, you know, things. They want shirts. They want saddle pads. They want towels. They want, yeah, back. Something Actually, maybe back. people can email you yeah um a, like some products that they might want and then we can share it with jackson as well yeah and absolutely. then actually anything that they might want to see in the next webinar that we do because we're going to do one where it's interactive we were already talking about that yeah. um so if they have any ideas they we'd be love we'd love to hear them actually yeah Brainstorm, everybody. You're on the Incrediware um, brainstorming team for uh, different products that you would like to see or th that you think will be not only beneficial for your horses, but yourselves as well. Well, I think we actually should talk about quickly the standing, using the standing wraps on backs. Yeah, that's definitely going to be something. I'm <laughs> it's gonna like have game to changing. Work. Sorry, just I thought yeah. of that right now when Jackson said that. So yeah. that's another perk is what we should be using them for until he comes out with a saddle pad. And I'm definitely going to grab uh, a set from you. Um, I'm probably thinking we'll probably get like a 16 and I'll do that. I'll go to some of my clients and uh, massage their horses and put it on right after and just see how it goes. Right. And, and get their feedback the next day to see um, if they saw better. And I'd results. love to hear that too, actually. Yeah. yeah. We can create our own study that Jackson has to <laughs> <laughs> participate yeah, the Canadian, in. The North study. Yeah. The Canadians. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Ashley, for coming tonight and answering our questions and providing us um, with the information. And again, thank you for setting um, it up with Jackson. I know it was like super last minute, but I appreciate it very much because it's always nice to have the face behind such great therapeutic products. And he was obviously amazing to listen yeah. to. And I'm very, very grateful for both of you for coming tonight. And I'm sure all the the attendees and my clients out there are going to find this webinar informative um, in the future. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having us both. I really appreciate it. Oh, and my pleasure. Have a lovely evening, everyone. You, yes. Thank you, everyone, for coming through. Your questions, your comments, they're all greatly appreciated. Um, this webinar will be up on my Facebook page directly after this. And then I'm actually going to download it onto my YouTube channel. So head over to YouTube and look up Healthy Equine Therapies. Um, this video will be there amongst the other ones that I've done in the past years. So be sure to check them out and give me a like and ring that bell for any kind of notifications. But thank you, everybody. This has been an amazing webinar and I'm so excited that I could bring it to uh, Ontario and offer all these wonderful products in Niagara. So thank you for trusting me, Ashley, and bringing me on board. I, it's well, been great since day one. I'm happy to do it. And honestly, I'm actually really thrilled because we just got inside Intel into so many products that are coming out now. Right? And nobody else really knows about it. Yeah. Only this <laughs> webinar does. <laughs> exactly. Thank you again, everyone. Have a great evening and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Take care. Bye.